Good morning and welcome back to the Starship Jerusalem. We're still in lockdown and we haven't gone crazy yet. But we can enjoy the glorious weather that God's given us. We can continue to praise Him and thank, you, thank Him for the beauty of His creation. And one of the amazing things that God has created, we discover in Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 6, and that is angels. It says, you alone are the Lord. You made the heavens. You give life to everything and the multitude of heaven worship you. You see, originally, the Godhead existed on their own, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and they had fellowship together in their perfection of beauty and glory and majesty. They fellowshiped together. They were never, ever lonely, but they decided out of their creativity to create angels. And they created the angels before this world was ever made. The angelic hosts, spiritual beings far superior to humankind, worship God. Be, they are pure in spirit. Jesus said in Matthew 18 verse 10, love this, angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. The angels see the face of God the Father. No wonder they worship Him. No wonder they reflect the Father's glory. See, angels are far higher than the moon, the sun, the universe, and all the planets. They're there in heaven, worshipping and glorifying Father God, their Creator. And the psalmist knew this. He, the psalmist said in Psalm 148, verse 2 and 5. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all heavenly hosts, for he commanded and they were created. God created the angels. When we die, we don't get turned into an angel. That's not true. Humans and angels are both different. You know, it, but it always amazes me that the angels worshipping God in heaven would leave heaven and, and the glory of God and come down here to earth? I mean, the beauty and splendour and the glory of God, the perfection of heaven. And you have to come through, if you like, the solar system and past the, the sun and the moon and arrive down here on earth. Why would you, you do that? Well, Hebrews 1 verse 14 gives us an answer. <coughs> it says, oh, excuse me, oh, dry this morning. Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? The angels are obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ. They come from heaven to minister salvation. They come and help us. They reveal, if you like, the gospel to us so that we can believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And as they come from heaven, they're being obedient to the Godhead. And therefore, that obedience is an act of worship. It is a way they're glorifying God, leaving the, you know, they're coming from seeing the face of the Father. To coming down here so that you and I can discover and come to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is. And then we glorify and we worship the Lord Jesus Christ who died on a cross for our sin and rose on the third day victorious. We have an amazing creative God. Let all of creation praise and worship him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that the blessed Godhead created us. We thank you for this, Lord, and we give you praise and thanks for all that you have created. And we thank you, Lord, one day you will return with your hosts of heaven.
And Lord, you will completely remove all sin and evil and make everything perfect again. Heavenly Father, give us strength this day to walk in your footsteps and to keep our eyes firmly fixed on you. Thank you, Lord, that we can praise you and worship you like the angels in heaven itself. Amen. And may God keep his watchful gaze upon you and lead you by the hand this glorious day. Amen.